Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the breastfeeding. So started with introduction. Breastfeeding or exclusive breastfeeding should be given for the first six months. So after the delivery, after the six month of the delivery, the baby should be fed with only breast milk. That period is called as exclusive breastfeeding. Next is advantages of breastfeeding. So what is the benefit is there if the baby is fed with breast milk? The benefits to the baby. The first we are going to study about what are the benefits is there for the baby. In that first one is complete food. So if you are giving only breast milk to the baby after the six months, it's a complete food for the baby. No need to give any supplementary items. It is easily digested when well absorbed. So for the baby, it will be easy to digest and it will be well absorbed by the body and it protects against the infection. So it will help to the baby body to protect against the infection and it promotes emotional bonding between the mother and the baby and it is a better brain growth. For the better brain growth development of the baby, it is needed. Next, we are going to study about the benefits to the mother. So what are the benefits is there for the mother first what we have seen benefits for the baby now we are going to see the benefits for the mother first one is it helps in the involution of uterus involution of uterus means see during the pregnancy the uterus size will increase okay according to the requirement of the baby size so like example normally it will be 55 gram the uterus size will be 55 gram but during pregnancy it will be like 1000 kg sorry not 1000 kg 1 kg or 1000 gram so what happened after the delivery slowly or gradually this it will come back again to the normal shape or pre-pregnant shape okay so that process is called as involution of the uterus so for that process if the mother is feeding the baby it will be helpful for the involution next one is delayed pregnancy okay next one is lower risk of the breast and ovarian cancer and decrease the mother workload why because it is easily available no need to prepare okay so it is decrease the mother workload next one is benefits to the family and the society what benefits for the family and society it is saves money it contributes to the child survival and it decreases the need for the hospitalization so these are the advantage of the breastfeeding for the baby for the mother and the, for the family and the society Next, we are going to tell you that anatomy and physiology of the breast. Already you have studied anatomy and physiology, but then also just I'll revise once. So, breast consists of the granular tissue supporting the tissue and fats. Okay, you can see the picture. And it milk secreted by the gland which travels through the tubules which drains into the lactoferous sinuses. Okay. So, the sinuses which store small quantities of milk, they open out on the nipple lactiferous duct. A thin layer of muscle surrounded each gland. The contraction of this muscle causes ejection of milk from the gland. So if uh, there is a contraction in that muscle only, the milk will eject from the gland. Next one is milk secretion and ejection. The process of how milk will secret and how it will come out from the breast. First one is prolactin reflexes. So prolactin is produced by the anterior pituitary gland which is responsible for the milk secretion. So this is the main thing who is responsible for the milk secretion, prolactin hormone. Okay, who will produce this hormone? Anterior pituitary gland. Okay, what happened when the baby sucks the nerves ending of the nipple, carry a message to the anterior pituitary, which turn release prolactin. And this hormone passes through the blood to the glands in the breast and promoting milk secretion. So when baby is sucking the nipple, there is a one message, it will go to the anterior pituitary gland, okay, to release the prolactin hormone. This when this prolactin hormone goes to the blood and then to reach to the glands, it will allow the gland to promote the milk secretion. Next one is oxytocin reflex. Oxytocin is a hormone produced by the posterior pituitary gland and it is responsible for the contraction of the myoepithelium around the glands leading to the ejection of milk from the gland into the lactiferous sinuses and lactiferous duct. So first one, first hormone will be responsible for the secretion. 
and the second hormone will be uh, this responsible for the ejection so which hormone oxytocin who will produce this hormone posterior pituitary gland okay next one is types of breast milk so in the first one is colostrum so the milk secreted during the first week of the delivery it is yellow thick and contains more antibodies and white cells okay second one is transitional milk this milk secreted during the following two weeks the immunoglobulin and protein contents decrease while the fat and sugar content increase the first milk is colostrum okay which is yellow color and which is very thick and which contains antibodies after that first two weeks of delivery what milk is producing that is called as transitional milk in that now the immunoglobulin and protein content will be reduced but fat and sugar will be increased the another type is mature milk the thinner and watery but contains all the nutrients essential for the growth of the baby that is called as mature milk next one is pour milk this milk is secreted at the start of the feeding watery and rich in protein sugar vitamins minerals and waters and the hemp milk it comes later towards the end of the feed and in fact provides more energy and satisfies the baby's hunger so when baby start to suck the milk when first milk is come that is pour milk and after that the end of the feed what she, baby is getting that is hemp milk next one is helping a mother to breastfeed in that first one is preparing the infant and mother how the first point is ensure that the infant is clinically stable second one is ensure that infant is alert make sure that the mother is comfortable and relaxed and make her sit down in a comfortable and convenient position next one is demonstrate the four key points in position okay you have to show the mother what are the key points while feeding the baby first one baby's head and body should be straight the baby's face should be should face mother breast and the baby body should be close to her body and mother should support the baby's whole body so this is how we are going to help the mother for the breast feed and show the mother how to support her breast with her other hand in that first one is put her fingers below the breast and use her finger to support the breast next for look for a sign of good attachment okay means you have to see that that uh, mouth of the baby and the nipple has have a good attachment okay that is latch on more areola is visible above the baby's mouth than below it baby mouth is wide open baby lower is turned outwards and baby chin is touching the breast so this is how we are going to help the mother the next one is how frequently a mother has to breastfeed her baby okay in that a healthy newborn baby can be breastfed on demand what do you mean by that on demand means when the baby like newborn baby whenever they are crying it means they are hungry because they don't know to speak so this crying is the language for them so if they are crying okay it means they are hungry so whenever they are crying it means they are hungry then that is their demand okay they need the food so a healthy newborn baby can be breastfed on demand and assessing the frequency of breastfeeding that is passes urine 6 to 8 times in a 24 hours goes to sleep for 23 hours after the feed and gain weight 50 to 30 g per day how you will know that mother is feeding the baby properly by assessing this sign we can find out okay the baby is getting sufficient milk if baby is sleeping properly if baby is passing urine and if baby is gaining weight the next one is key message to promote the exclusive breastfeeding in the first you know, introduction itself i told you exclusive breastfeeding means if the mother is feeding the baby until 6 months without any other supplementary only breastfeeding that is called as exclusive breastfeeding so for the baby to the feed at breast as soon as possible after the birth preferably in the delivery room so we will suggest the mother or we encourage the mother to start the breastfeeding within a 30 minutes do not discard the colostrum before what happened in the traditional period they people used to think that this colostrum is harmful because it is a low color normally milk is white color so they used to discard it but it should not be said because it is more good for the baby 
immunity okay next one is keep the baby close to the mother and mother may lie down or sit or on a bed chair or floor to breastfeed the baby breastfeed during the day and night for at least 8 to 10 times and whenever baby cries with the hunger okay like daily no night also and day time also they should feed the baby at least 8 to 10 times and or whenever the baby is uh, hunger for that if the baby is crying the more baby sucks at breast more milk the breast will produce and healthier the baby becomes so if the baby is sucking the milk properly breast properly the milk will come more allow the baby to feed at one breast until he leaves the nipple on his own like until the baby is not finishing allow the baby to feed from one breast then only go for the second one give baby only one breast for the first 6 month don't give baby gutter water greek water honey animal or powdered milk powder milk before 6 month like you should not give any artificial foods never use bottle or pacifier pacifier means you have seen like it is it will be like nipple types only now never baby is hungry they'll put in the baby mouth you should not give it okay then issues in the breast feeding issues in the breast feeding means the problem while feeding the breast milk sore nipple so this is the condition okay in the nipple which causes incorrect attachment okay nipple sucking frequent use of soap and water and fungal infection of the nipple so because of this causes it can be sore nipple so if there is sore nipple the mother can feed the baby now what is the treatment for sore nipple is continue breast feed and change the position apply human milk to the nipple after the breast feed expose the nipple to the air between feeds and do not wash time wash time before and after feed okay use local antifungal medication the next uh, issue is breast engorgement the milk production increases during the second and third day of the delivery if feeding is delayed infrequent or the baby is not well positioned at the breast the milk accumulated in the alveoli so what happen in the second or third day the milk production will be more but if because of any causes it is not feeded to baby okay causes will be like different if delayed time infrequent or baby is not well that milk will be accumulate in the alveoli that is called as breast engorgement so treatment for it breast engorgement can be prevented by early and frequent breast feed and correct attachment of the baby to the breast and treatment consist of local warm water packs for not more than 15 minutes okay and gently express the milk to soften the breast and then help the mother to correct latch the baby on the breast next condition is breast abscess abscess means you know collection of pus so if it, it is a condition like engorged breast cracked nipples block uh, neck are not treated early it may cause the breast abscess okay whatever condition you have seen if it is not treated in early age it can cause breast abscess and mother may be treated with analgesic and antibiotic and if it is there is not enough milk also why there is not enough milk like not breast feed frequently or too short or hurried breast feeding and poor position like hurriedly if they want to feed also then also there will be not sufficient milk production because this all are related to hormone okay so body mind relaxation should be there next one is contraindication to the breast feeding contraindication means when the mother will be advised not to feed the baby the first one is if the mother on anti metabolic or anti cancer or radioactive drugs if the mother is taking any type of anti cancer drugs or anti metabolic drugs or radioactive drugs the mother will be advised not to feed the baby if the mother is having hiv infection okay so in that case we will advise the mother not to feed the baby so with this we have completed the breast feeding okay thank you everyone